today's lesson is lesson 93, comparing and ordering unit fractions with denominators of 2, 3, 4, and 8 using fraction strips, and then adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. Okay. So here I have these paper strips, or these strips. We're going to pretend they're candy bars. Are all of these strips the same size? Yes, they are. And you know because they um, all look the same size, if I put them on top of each other, they cover each other exactly. So if I eat the blue candy bar by myself, I would say that I ate one whole candy bar. Okay. Now I want to share the candy bar, this red candy bar with my sister. And when you share, you want to make sure each person has an equal piece. So since there's two of us, I'll need two pieces of candy. So I'm going to divide my candy bar in half. If you have a paper, you can do this by folding it in half. I'm going to draw a line and try to get at the halfway mark. Okay. All right, so we divided these piece, this candy bar in half. All right. Now the yellow candy bar I want to share with three people. So if I also have a piece, then that means I need to have four pieces. So I'm going to divide my candy bar in half once and then in half two more times. All right, again, so I end up with four pieces, four equal pieces. Now this gray candy bar I'm going to share with seven others. So there's going to be eight of us total. So you would fold, if it was a piece of paper, you'd fold it in half three times. But since I'm drawing it, I'm going to divide it into eight pieces. And I'm going to get these as even as possible, which is really hard while driving, drawing. But just keep in mind that these are all supposed to be the same size. Okay. And then this third candy bar, the green one, I'm going to just share with two others. So it'll be three of us total. And each of us need to have an equal piece. Okay. So this one you would kind of fold it, you'd fold it into thirds, which is a little bit more difficult. And you can have someone at home help show you how you would do that, or you should see it at school. But it look, should look something like this. Okay. Now, if I told you you could only have one piece of candy bar, what color would you choose? Okay. So you would probably choose the blue one, where you can get the whole candy bar, or the, or the red one, okay, if you had to share. Okay. Now, Remember, the blue candy bar shows that only one person is eating it because it's one whole. The candy bar that has two pieces is red. And the fraction we use to show that is one half. Each piece equals one half. The yellow candy bar is divided into four pieces. So each of these pieces equals one fourth. The gray candy bar is divided into eight pieces. So each of these pieces represents one eighth of the candy bar. And then the final candy bar, the green one, is divided into three pieces. So each of these pieces is worth one third of the whole candy bar. Okay. So let's order these. So I have these in orders from greatest to least. The biggest is the whole, then half, then the fourth, the only difference is, is that one third is bigger than one eighth, or than one fourth. Okay, so this really should be up here. Okay, so the least to greatest, we would go with one, one half, one third, one fourth, one eighth. You may notice that as the denominator gets bigger, the fraction itself gets smaller. Okay, so here I have a problem. I have three fourths of a candy bar. I ate one fourth. How much do I have left? Well, I know that I have three fourths of a candy bar. This is telling me that my, the candy bar I need to use is my yellow one that's broken up into fourths, okay? I'm just going to draw this again over here so you can see what it looks like. But it says I only have three-fourths of it, which means I already ate one of the pieces. So I probably already ate this part. So I only have three-fourths of it. Okay. 
and then I eat one more one fourth. So I eat this one. So how much do I have left? One, two. I have two fourths left. So the, the word problem would look like this. Three fourths minus one fourth equals two fourths. Okay. I have another problem here. I have three eighths of a candy bar. My brother gave me two eighths of his candy bar. How much of the candy bar do I have? Okay. So I would have three eighths and then I get two more eighths. So total, I would have, if I go back and look, I started with one, two, three, and then I got two more, one, two. So that's a total of five eighths of a candy bar. All right, here I have one third plus one third. You may want to come up with a story problem for this. It could be I have one third, I have, I have a third of a cookie and someone gave me another third. Or it could be that I have one third of a cake, okay? But one third plus one third equals two thirds. You may notice I'm only adding the numerator. The denominator stays the same. All right, okay, what about seven sixths, my, or sorry, seven eighths minus six eighths? Well, seven minus six equals one and eighth. So I'm gonna have one eighth left over. What about one eighth plus five eighths? Well, one eighth plus five eighths would equal six eighths. And that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.